Hey there Mountaineer fans and welcome into another edition of Talking About Preseason. This is the 2017-18 Southern Vermont College Men's Basketball Edition. We are joined by three Mountaineers today. From left to right we have senior Mike Pierre, junior Josh Borders, and senior Damon Carter. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Appreciate it. Josh, let's start with you. How do you think the preseason has gone so far? Uh, it's been very well, starting with Coach Kirshner, you know, the hill workouts, the weight room, the drills in the uh, gym, you know, then what Dan got us doing here, um, you know, these first um, the two preseason scrimmages we had, you know, practice has been um, intense, you know, conditioning has been intense as well. So I think, you know, it's been good for us and we're ready for this upcoming season, whatever we got coming to towards us. Mike, you transferred in last year for the spring semester, so this is the first preseason you've gone through here. How's it been different than those that you've experienced before? Um, I would say just Coach Bob and Coach Dan just uh, really on us, making us uh, go through all of our workouts with intensity, a lot of energy. Um, there's a lot of good vibes with our team. So, um, I mean, it's, it's looking like we're, we're going to be ready this year. Damon, who on the team has surprised you with how they've performed during the preseason? Well, uh, with this group, I would say from top to bottom, we're, we're all like been working, and everyone comes in, puts actual work in. Uh, I feel like everyone, and especially with my eyes, me being my fourth year here, uh, everyone's really impressed me. So uh, that's, that's about it. We're all excited. We're ready for Wednesday, and whatever, like Josh said, whatever opponent is in front of us. Mike, what's been the best part about the preseason? Um, man. I would say uh, just just the dedication I see from my teammates, um, the work that we're putting in is, is special. We all believe in each other. We believe in coach. We believe in what we're doing. So that's my favorite part. It's it's evident what we're doing. We're on a mission this year, and it's evident. So that's what I like about it. Josh, what's been the worst part about the preseason? <laughs> um, six a.m. practices. Uh, all this running we doing, but um, it's the worst part. That's also a good part because it's needed. Uh, that's just like adversity. You know, you don't want to get up at six a.m. for practice. You want to run a lot, but you know, it's gonna make us stronger, make us better. So I guess it's good in the end. Damon, where do you think the team is right now, and how long will it take you guys to be where you really want to be? Uh, as coach always say, you want to be playing your best basketball come around. January, February, so we still have some time to get there. But right now, we're eager to get on the court with another team. Like we've been eager each of these scrimmages, we've been beating up each other preseason and practice and everything. So we're definitely hungry to get out there and see what we can do. Josh, third year here at Southern Vermont. How do you think this preseason has been different than the years past that you've been here? Um, for, it's been the same for the most part. You know, we're still doing the hill workouts and stuff like that with Coach Pop. I would say it's been, the only difference is, is that there's been some guys that haven't been used to this type of preseason workout, like Mike, Dre, Aaron, Tyler, you know, so it's just different faces, really, to be honest, and getting all the guys that hasn't been before. Mike, what makes this team special and will be the reason that you guys are successful? Um, I would say that the fact that we're, we're looking at this team as a family. Um, we're all brothers. And like I said before, we're just believing in each other, believing in what we're doing. And uh, it, it's, it's what's driving us to be better every day in practice. Every day when we're on the court against another team, we're going to be playing for each other. And that's why we're going to be special. Dan Mom, what do you think defines success for this team? And what are you going to have to do in order to look back and say, yeah, we were successful? Uh, well, I don't want to bring in any other teams. Uh, what we've done in the past is always going to be in the past. We have some great accomplishments, especially while I've been here. But for this team, we just want to be the best we can be. You know, I don't want to put too much pressure from previous years or when we went 25 and 4 or previous uh, championships. We just want to be the best we can be. And I believe this team honestly could be one of the best teams that, that's came through this building and protected this home court. Josh, how much different is this team right now compared to your first day of preseason training? We're a lot closer. Um, that relationship and that family is so much stronger. And we're in better shape than we were day one of preseason. Uh, we're, strong, like I said, stronger mentally, physically, and just more prepared, ready to do this. 
Mike, is there a game or two on the schedule that you or the rest of the guys are really looking forward to? And those, are, you know, that's the one that you got marked on the calendar and you just cannot wait for. It. Becker, I want Becker. Mike wants Becker. Josh, you seem to say this first one, King State. They uh, they smacked us by thirty last year, so it's gonna stick. <clears throat> yeah, it's my last go around. So everybody that's in front of us, every matchup that I get is gonna be personal. I don't want it from. King State to Newberry in the conference, anybody. I'm eager to get in front of them. Dave, Mom, what can the Mountaineer fans expect to see out of the team this year? <laughs> a lot of fun. Uh, this is a really fun group. Uh, we love being out there. We love competing. So, I mean, we're probably going to be interacting with the crowd. Who knows? Getting crowd into it. We love playing at home. You know, it's a smaller gym. It's hot in there. It's just we're face to face with the fans. So, we're going to be fun. Uh, that's, that's about it. So. Last question for you and Mike. What are you guys looking forward to most here in your senior season? Um, I mean, I would say just just uh, having success from here, really. Just keeping us together as a team, as a family. Um, I want to be playing in March this year. Our, our season ended last year a little abruptly. And um, we're looking to come back from that stronger. So that's what I'd like to see this year. For me, I'm just eager to see this brotherhood continue, this family grow, and with that, anything on the court is, I, I don't see anyone stopping us, honestly, except for ourselves, so that's the only thing that can break off, so I, I was just talking to Coach, I have potential to be win four regular season championships, that's never been done here before, so personally, I want that, and I want to do it with this group, and I feel like it's been lined up perfect, so I can do it with this group, the way we all mess together, so. All right, very good. We've got a few more questions here for you guys. They're kind of open to the group, so feel free to jump in as the answers pop to your head, whoever you think uh, you know comes to mind. We're going to meet the Mountaineers a little bit here. So who's got the best dance moves on the team? This uh, year? Um, <laughs> That's a great question, guys. I mean... I'm going to go with KJ, because I don't see him close. Y'all really have I haven't seen KJ dance, so yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't seen KJ. <laughs> um, that may have to be the vote. Who else? Who else? That's it. I'm going to have to go with KJ. Yeah. Because, yeah. I've seen him live enough close. I'm going to go KJ. <laughs> Who's got the worst dance moves? Ah, uh, oh, man. I may have to go like Rohan or something. I've never seen Rohan, Rohan bust a move at all. I've never seen Cloud do them either. Ah. That's it. I don't know. Who are we going to go? We got to say one. We got to say one. Never seen topics from either. Uh, I'm going with Rohan. I'm going Claude. <laughs> Who's likely to be the first one to show up for a game of pickup? Nick. Nick. <laughs> 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 Who's most likely to not necessarily be late, but be the last one to show up for the team bus? Tyler. Tyler. Yep, Tyler. <laughs> Who's most likely to grab the ox cord and be the band DJ on a road trip? I make it myself. Yeah, it's <laughs> up with him, Damon. Uh, he not on the team, but Jack. Yeah, um, I imagine Jackson. He may. He does a great job of that. So there's yeah. some fighting over that court, huh? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best NBA 2K player? Me. Oh, I mean, you know. <laughs> at, at this <laughs> table, especially for me. <laughs> we just, just going to keep it at that. It's definitely me. All right, I smell a little battle coming in thorns <laughs> at some point to prove once and for all who is the best NBA 2K player. But... Gentlemen, once again, thank you for joining us today. The Mountaineers open up the regular season this Wednesday, November 15th, with a 7 p.m. tip here on the SVC campus. We hope to see you there. If you can't make it, find the live video link on athletics.svc.edu. Southern Vermont then opens up the New England Collegiate Conference schedule on Tuesday, January 9th at Wheelock. And SVC will hold Senior Day here in the MAC on Saturday, February 17th in conjunction with a 1 p.m. NECC tip-off against Newberry College. We hope to see you there as well. Gentlemen, one more time, thank you for joining us today, and good luck this season. Appreciate it. We'll be right back with Coach Engelstad here on Talking About Preseason. Hey there, Mountaineer fans, and welcome back into Men's Basketball's Talking About Preseason. I am now joined by fifth-year SVC head coach Dan Engelstad. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Mike, always a pleasure. Uh, excited to be here. Can't wait to get the season started. Can't believe we're only a couple days away. And um, looking forward to, a, to another great one. We just heard from four of your guys about the preseason and their expectations for the year. But let's get your opinion. How do you think the preseason has gone so far? 
I really like this group. Like we've uh, been working hard for a common goal, trying to uh, get better every day. This group has been uh, able to advance faster than we have in years past. I thought they, we've been able to retain and move forward. Um, that being said, we haven't done it against anyone under the bright light. So curious to see how it looks when we get there. But I've been really um, enthused with how hard our guys practice, how together they are, and how for each other they are. They really do genuinely care about each other, and um, you can see it in practice. And that being said, they, they still compete, and they compete hard. What sort of differences have you noticed in this year's group compared to those of years past? Yeah, there's some similarities and there's some differences. Um, it's a new group. We have a couple new additions this year. we got some returners. Uh, returners' roles have changed. Uh, but this group is businesslike. This group, they come into the gym and they want to get better and they want to learn. And uh, okay. They've been coming in and asking more questions about you know, if they have questions with the offense or defense, which has allowed us to keep advancing. So as, as a coach, that's exciting. Um, we need them to communicate more and louder. That's one thing that we want to keep stressing to them because they are a good bunch of guys, and I enjoy being with them, but we're quiet at times. So that's one thing we really want to try to um, – something that's been a staple for us is we communicate pretty well. We want to make sure that this group does it. What have you been able to learn in the last three or four years here that you were able to implement – this year in the preseason training? You just can't skip steps. You know, I think every year has been a good learning process for our group and myself included. It's just uh, staying with the process, like making sure we don't get too far ahead and getting good at the things that we're trying to teach and improve every day. And So we're just trying to really get back to the fundamentals and really focus on uh, things that have allowed our program to be successful and so I, I, we aren't going to do anything crazy or rewrite any new offense or defense, but we're just trying to get really good at what we're trying to do. Where do you think you guys are right now, and how long will it take for you to be 100% where you and your other coaches want your team to be? And is that even attainable? Some coaches say, you know, we're never going to be perfect, we're never going to get there. Do you think that is a mark that your team could hit? Well, basketball is a game where no one's ever been perfect. There's never been a no turnover game or a missed box out or a rebound. So that's one of the fun things about coaching is there's always something you can improve on. Uh, there are certain things that we want to be good at as a basketball team this year, and I want to see us improve in those areas. You know, we want to make sure we're a really good defensive team again. We want to be an elite rebounding team, which allows us to get out and transition and run. So for us, it's less about trying to be perfect, but more about just getting really good at the things we're trying to stress every day in practice. You built a pretty tough non-conference schedule this year, including a handful of teams that either did really well last year or are expected to do really well this year. What was your reasoning behind doing that, and what are you hoping to get out of those non-conference games? Well, every year we want to challenge ourselves, uh, and this group is no different. I, I believe in the group that we have, so we have to play some of the better teams in the country. Our first game on Wednesday is Keene State. They are uh, coming off an Elite Eight run, and they have one of the most talented players in the country coming into our gym. So for us, those type of challenges I look forward to, and I think our guys really get up for those as well. Uh, wanted to give our guys a unique experience and get to Miami this year, and to do that, and play against some of the better teams in SUNY Cortland and Carthage, uh, teams that we otherwise wouldn't see, I think is going to be important for our group. Um, and good learning experience for them to, to play against some top-notch competition. And then we play some relatively local games, which Sage is always good. Johnson State's a much improved program, and um, Castleton's always a tough game, especially on the road. So, you know, I, I'm looking forward to the schedule. I think it's fair. I think our guys can compete, but I also think that we're challenging ourselves. I'm sure 25-0 and 0 would be ideal, and, you know, you would absolutely love it. But in the chance that you do lose games, especially against those good teams, how do you think your guys are going to handle that adversity? Well, that will be the key to this group season. It's not about talent. It's not about character. It's, uh, it's going to be about how we respond to adversity. And, you know, every team has it. Every year has it. Every team has had an injury or two already. That's just how the season goes. And uh, it's how you respond to those moments that really dictate the type of season you have. So for us, you know, I, I believe in this group. I think we have some tough-minded um, guys. I think we are solid in the classroom. I think we're solid in the community. I think we're solid on the court. And when you have all three of those things, usually allows you to deal with adversity 
and be able to move on and, and push forward in a, in a positive way. So we're going to face adversity, um, you know, and I just look forward to see how this group can handle that challenge. What are you most looking forward to this season? I just love being around this group. I, I, I like going to practice every day. To me, it's, I'm having so much fun just being in there and give, seeing the energy they've given me and seeing them improve every day. So for me, like I don't want to. There's nothing that I'm looking forward to beyond today's practice or tomorrow's practice, just because I I really enjoy this group and I enjoy what we're doing. I enjoy the staff that I work with. Dave bermersky has been with me from the beginning. We've got some great new coaches. We've got former players, Deshaun Hamlet and Nate Goldsmith helping out, and Alex Burt's a great addition to our staff. So I just like being around the people that are in our program right now. So for me, it's just the next day of, of getting in the gym and trying to get better is what I look forward to. Is there one thing that you guys can really focus on and will be the reason that you are successful and win a second league championship in three years? Yeah, it, we need to be a great defensive basketball team. You know, I've, I've always said that and something that's allowed us to be really good in league play is um, with our stronger teams that we've had, if we defend, defense carries on the road. You know, you're not always going to make shots. The ball's not always going to go in the hoop, but it's going to be, can we get those big stops in those close games where we might not be playing our best basketball. So for us, it's details, um, especially on the defensive side. If this group can become a great defensive team, this group has a chance to be one of the best in Southern Vermont history. Very good. Well, Coach, once again, thank you for joining us today. Again, the Mountaineers open up the regular season on Wednesday with a 7 p.m. tip-off against Keene State College here in the Mountaineer Athletic Center. If you can't make it, you can find the live video link on athletics.svc.edu. Coach, once again, thanks for joining us, and best of luck this season. Thank you, man. Look forward to seeing you out this year. Thanks, guys.